Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and the ATP is back in full swing this week. We're back after the US Open, after having a much-needed break last week with an ATP 250 event in Kazakhstan, the Astana Open. And there's a couple of names that are pulled out of this one, but there are some big names playing. But let's go to the withdrawal list first. So only the couple of names that are pulled out of this one. We have Garen. He's pulled out. Manorino also pulled out. And McDonald is out of this one as well. Starting at the top of the draw, we've got eight seeds in this one, and the top four seeds get a bye in the first round. Carrots the number one seed. He gets a buy in the first round and looking for some much needed form, being a little bit disappointing over the last couple of weeks. He'll take on the winner of Rusevori or Bonsai in the second round. Then we've got Seppi versus the wild card Skatov. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the number eight seed of Vashka in the second round. Then we've got the number four seed, Krianovic. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of either the wild card Kukushkin or Duckworth in the second round. Then we've got Vesely versus Munir. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the number five seed, Milman in the second round. So the players we're watching out for in this one, got to watch out for Karatev. Hasn't been great over the last couple of weeks. Was pretty disappointing in America, especially at the US Open. So interested to see how he can bounce back, especially in a tournament that he's going to be the favorite at. Also interested to see how Krajanovic does as well. Is an all-court player and has played well on hard courts in the past. Of course, the indoor Paris Masters a few years ago, he actually looked at the final. So interested to see how he does in this one. And also John Millman. He's the defending champion of this tournament. So he's got some points to defend. Interested to see how he can back up his performance from this tournament last year when he won the whole thing. Going to the bottom half of the draw now, we've got the number seven seed, Jera. He takes on Gallon in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Musetti in the second round. Then we've got Quan versus another qualifier. Winner of that match takes on the number three seed, Lajevic, who gets a bye in the first round. Then we've got the number six seed, Pev, taking on Derisimov. Winner of that match takes on either Tapina or Barenkis in the second round. Then we've got the wild card, Vadasko, taking on Kitmenovic. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Bublik, in the second round. So players to watch out for in this one. Got to watch out for Bublik. He is playing in front of his home crowd. So there will be a little bit of pressure on the hometown favorite, of course. And, and he's the number two seed. So he's going to be very, very popular and one of the favorites to win this whole thing. Also, Lajevic. Interested to see how he does in this one as well. More of a clay court player these days, but doesn't mind playing on the hard courts as well. So let's see how he does. And also keeping an eye on Musetti, who in the last couple of months hasn't done great. We've seen him great on the clay courts. He played pretty well on the hard courts at the start of the year in Acapulco. So interested to see if he can actually back it up in a smaller tournament where, you know, anyone could probably win this. So let's see how Musetti does this week as well. So there it is, the Astana Open. It's only the second time this tournament's actually been played. So it's a brand new tournament on the tour and hasn't got that much history involved yet. But there are some big names playing this week and some names that I'm really interested to see how they can actually back up and maybe play better than they have over the last couple of weeks with Karatsev and Bublik. You know, those players haven't done well that well over the last couple of months. So interested to see if they can rebound in a smaller tournament like this. But with these smaller tournaments, anybody could win. So watch out for the unseeded players. Watch out for the low seeds as well uh, in this one. So it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. But let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this event? As I said, it's kind of a smaller event with players that are not really in form at the top of the list on the seeds. So anyone could win this. Just taking a look at the draw and it's going to be a tough one for me to pick this one because you can make a case for anybody to sort of win it. But I'm going to go with Bublik to win this one. I feel like playing in front of his home crowd and being the number two seed, I think he'll play well and he'll get that energy from the crowd to be a bit more of an entertainer and a showman and want to do himself proud. And he's got a pretty good draw as well uh, with the names around there. So I'm going to go with Bublik to win this one, the number two seed. Again, let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this one? So the ATP, it's back in action, and we're going to Kazakhstan for an ATP 250.